is Suzanne from Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Delta Wing Bracelet. This is an advanced level design. To make this bracelet you will need 38 A colored bands, 22 B colored bands, 20 C colored bands, and a C clip. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Start with your loom in the rectangle configuration. All your pins should be in line. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. You'll start by placing three A colored bands on your loom. You'll start from the center pin and place your first A colored band from the center pin to the second pin on the left. Your second A colored band will go from the center pin to the second pin on the right and the third one will go to the forward pin. Refer to the diagram on your screen as I show you how to place the next 14 bands. You'll start from the second pin on the left and place band 1B into the center. Push that down. 2B. 3A. 4A. 5A. 8C goes into the center, then 9C, 13B, 14B. You'll repeat this pattern three more times on the loom. I'll fast forward from here. Pause the video and refer to the graphic on your screen until you get to the second to last pins on the loom. Once you finish placing that pattern three more times, you're at the end of the loom and I'll show you how to place the last five bands. You'll place one B into the center, two B, then we'll go three A. So from this outside, you'll place an A band to the middle pin, then 4A, 
you'll place an A colored band to the middle pin and then place a band 5A straight up the middle. Once you've finished placing those bands, you'll need to place a cap band on this last pin. You'll use an A colored band and you'll twist that to a figure eight and loop it back upon itself and place it on that last pin. And there you finish placing all your bands. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. We'll loop the first three bands on the loom. We'll start from the center pin and we'll loop this first A colored band to the center. But first, pull back your cap band. All these bands are the same color, so you have to make sure you're grabbing the right one. Once you do, hold down your cap band and loop that band forward. Next, you'll loop out to the left, pull the cap band back, grab the next A colored band and loop it out to the left. Then the third band will be pulled out to the right. Refer to the diagram on your screen as I show you how to loop the next 14 bands. We'll start from this pin and we'll pull the B colored band out to the left. Reach in there, grab that and pull it out to the left. Then 2B will go out to the right. 3A you'll be looping the A band forward, so you pull all the bands above that back, pull it forward. Band 4A, pull all the bands above that one, back, sometimes it helps you to separate them. Pull that back, and then pull the A forward. Band 5A, then you'll loop 6B, reach in there, pull that forward, and 7B will be pulled from the right to the center. 8C will be looped from the middle out. You need to make sure you're grabbing the right band and pulling that to the left. Then 9C Oops, I grabbed another band with that. We need to make sure we just grab the right band, grab 9C, and pull that out to the right. You can tell by these teardrop shapes that you've pulled the bands in the right direction. 10A will be looping forward. We've got another band that's black, so 10A will be looping forward. 11A twelve A will be looped up the middle. And then we'll loop 13C and 14C. And then we'll start this looping pattern all over again. I'll fast forward from here. Pause the video and refer to the diagram as you loop your bands.
Then here at the end of the loom, we'll follow another pattern. We'll loop the B colored bands out to the sides. That's one and two. And then we'll loop the A colored bands three. Gotta make sure we grab the right one in there and pull that to the center and then five into the center. And there we finished looping all of our bands. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. On the last pin you pull all those bands up to the top. Slide your hook down through that channel and tilt it out to the side. Grab an A colored band and place it on the end of your hook. Pull your hook back up through. Pull the bands up on your hook and then move them to the thickest part. And with your fingers, pull the bands off your loom. And then locate your cap band. Now we're ready to extend the bracelet. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many bands you'll need. You'll place these bands in a row along one side of your loom. If you have a smaller wrist, you may only need three or four bands for your extension. If you have a larger wrist, you may need six or more. So you place those bands going up one side of the loom and then when you've placed the number of bands you need you'll place the cap band on this last pin. So you located the cap band and you stretch it from that last pin to the one directly behind it and then you loop the bands of your extension. Once you loop the last band, you'll pull it to the one next to it, and that creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Grab the open side of your C-clip, snap that over the band. Once it's on securely, you can remove your extension, pull the hook away from your bracelet, slide your fingers into that band, and you've created another area to attach the other side of your seat clip. Move the bands to one side, snap your seat clip over, pull those to the other, and you've secured your bracelet. And there we have the finished Delta Wing bracelet. Mm -hmm.